And we back. We're here with another episode of Sack School. I'm your host, Vach Lombardi. Appreciate y'all for tuning into the volume. Today, we're going to be looking at Trey Hendrickson, pass rusher from the Bengals. And this is what I love about this series, right? I did this three years ago, but it was called Best Sack Technicians back then. Y'all Google that if you want to look it up. Um, but it gives you an opportunity to step away from your team just to get a good feel of what the league is talking about, right? I always in encourage everybody to like step away from your fan base uh, because sometimes you can, you know, think of these names like these Khalil Max or Joey Bosa's and Von Miller's and it'll it'll close your mind to these other guys. Trey Hendrickson was a top three dude in sacks. So it just makes me kind of want to do my little research to see how he did. And that's what we're going to be doing today, breaking down the technicalities of him as a pass rusher. Now, just in case you have the attention span of a glass of water and a fire drill, I'm going to be playing some of the clips right now that I'm going to be using in the film session. So feel free to mute me, rewind, fast forward, whatever it is that you want to do. But if you're here for the details and the nuance i'll be breaking those plays down at length so with that being said let's get started so let's get started let's uh start with this play trey hendrickson is going to be on the right side of your screen here take a look at this and after watching all of his sacks it made me go back to revisit him you know after i got a good feel of the type of pass rush that he is he's just such an active pass rusher that you never really get settled you never really get a good purchase on that block in terms of hands on the inside elbows tucked knees bent base good you don't really get that going because he's either constantly moving or he's constantly fighting your hands right now this um this move this inside fake getting back outside it wasn't the most athletic display i've ever seen in the world but it did its job trey working inside actually pauses the feet of this left tackle here if you take a look at the left tackle boom, boom, boom his feet stop just for just a quick second and that gives trey enough time to work back outside to defeat those hands now when the offensive lineman puts his hands up to try to uh you know get hands on trey a couple things the offensive lineman is is, is, is doing wrong like he's leaning you know he never really get that hand purchase in there which is his fault but trey does a good job of quickly defeating the hands that's so that was way too fast Chad. let me just roll that back for y'all get your hands off of me boy and before you know it aaron Rodgers is on the ground man you can't beat that with a stick man just that active movement i'm gonna show y'all another example of this let's uh let's take a look at this play take a look at this play quick hands offensive lineman never gets settled Trey gets to your back hip quicker than you expect. And before you know it, quarterback's on the ground, man. Just just, just another outstanding display of, you know, control here via hands, right? Now, you see the offensive lineman is actually getting in some, some hand fighting back with Trey Hendrickson, right? Which, which is good from the offensive lineman. Um, we love it when you fight back over here because it gives us something to break down. But you won't be able to see it. But if you focus on Trey's right hand, Trey actually grabs the outside hand of the uh, tackle here. He actually gets hands on that that uh, that uh, left wrist, and that's where Trey can control you. That's where any pass rusher can control you. So take note, young pass rushers. You know, if you're going outside, you want to defeat the outside hand, and one of the best ways to do that is to just grab that wrist. If I can grab your wrist and control it, and I can take your wrist and your hands wherever I want it to go, then you can't get in my in my chest plate or my shoulder, and you can't block me properly. And Trey Hendrickson, Trey Hendrickson does a fantastic job of that. And well, before you know it man quarterback got to run for his life and, and i and you know you know Bengals fans love to see sacks versus ravens so we just gonna show this one more time that's for y'all appreciate you you're welcome look at these hands look at these hands violence violence right you know we always try to try to teach these off these uh defensive linemen man like if you lose the first rep just keep shooting keep going for it right at this point let's see at this point trey goes for the slap and he misses and the offensive line is not in in bad shape right here the offensive lineman is actually in shape enough to recover like right here that's fantastic on the offensive lineman we have the length advantage right we have the the um the uh spacing body positioning everything like we're parallel to you like you're not on my back hip the offensive lineman has the advantage here but trey just don't stop moving forward and i'm gonna show y'all some more examples of this later uh trey just doesn't stop moving forward he never stops fighting hands so this hand that's on trey right now get that shit off of me and then he's gonna uh the left tackle 71 is gonna try to get that left hand on trey and trey's gonna go get this off of me cut justin fields is on the ground fantastic I think Trey Hendrickson has some underrated strength because what ends up happening is, you know, he normally doesn't get get caught or whatever. And, and if he does get caught, whatever, whatever. But I've seen a couple of plays like this. I'm going to show you all two today to where if you actually get hands on Trey Hendrickson 
And look, this ain't good blocking position for the offensive lineman at all. The offensive lineman got his hands on on Trey's back. Trey's hat level is so fantastic right here. Like he's damn near got his hands at the offensive lineman's waist at this point. And Trey is stronger than you because he's winning the leverage battle, right? But even if you like find a way to get hands on Trey and just like string him up and slow him down, Trey won't just get off of you here. Trey will just keep his feet moving and just run through this block that you got. And is that holding? Looks like holding, let's bring it back one time, let's see. That's holding, so you actually get the and one on this on top of getting the sack. I'll show you another example. Once again, right, Trey Hendrickson, right side of your screen, he's gonna come off the ball and the offensive lineman does a decent job of getting hands on him, but just Trey just don't stop moving. And let's see, boom, 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 boom. At this point, right, at this point, the offensive lineman is not in bad shape right here. The offensive lineman actually, if he just keeps his feet moving, he wins this exchange by way of body positioning, you know, hands, we got all that, right? But you can't stop moving because Trey ass won't stop moving, right? So Trey's gonna keep pumping those feet and before you know it, y'all are going to go sack the quarterback together. Is this Justin? Or, yep, this is Justin. The one thing I noticed, right? In order to do these videos, you have to like watch film on a lot of the, you know, top pass rush or whatever. And there's a couple of quarterbacks that the top pass rushers kind of got in common. Justin Field, let's just say Bears quarterbacks, right? Bears quarterbacks got sacked a lot. So if you're a Bears fan, let's work on that shit, cuz. I mean, look, even on this play, right? Let's let's uh take a look at this. And this is really like just a fundamental play, right? You know, I always tell the young pass rushers, whoever may be watching, man, you know, like kind of know where your target is. Like keep your eyes on the on the quarterback. Don't just get so caught up in your wrestling match versus the offensive line that, that you forget where you're going. And I think Trey wins this battle for the same reason that we've been talking about the whole time, right? Is that the offensive lineman never gets comfortable. They never get a good purchase on him, right? And if you can't get hands on Trey, Trey's not gonna stop moving. So um, we get to this point, we're fighting, we're fighting. Look look at the look at the arm length on the offensive line. The offensive line is not doing bad right here, but Trey's gonna keep moving. Trey's gonna keep fighting to get those hands off of him. And if you never settle in on Trey, if you never get hands on Trey, he's going to continue to move around and he kept his eyes on the um, quarterback here. So even though he was fighting outside and the offensive lineman doesn't get good hands on me, if when the quarterback steps up, I have eyes on him. I'm gonna disengage and I'm going to put the quarterback on the ground. Fantastic job here by Trey Hendrickson. Very underrated player, man. Uh, I think I think the league should should know of him now. You know, the Bengals went on this Super Bowl run, and uh, he was a he was a big part of that. And you heard his name throughout the entire season, throughout the entire run. So Trey Hendrickson shouldn't be low key anymore. But just get a man his respect. He deserves it. Shouts out to Bengals fans. Um, with that being said, if y'all want to see more content like this, like let us know. Honestly, like let us know, and we'll adjust to you because. You know, I normally do uh, Cowboys content and, you know, I go live Monday through Friday here on the volume at 3 p.m. Central. Uh, but, you know, when the regular season starts, you know, we can find ways to incorporate all 32 content. So, you know, content from all 32 teams. So while I'm doing Cowboys content, I can drop a film session on whatever team. So uh, if you're a team that's not, you know, my Dallas Cowboys, I'm gonna do plenty of work on them. But if you're a team that's not the Cowboys, just let me know in the uh, in the uh, comments here, just so we can get a good idea of what NFL fans are, you know, uh, watching the volume so we can do some work for y'all also. All right, with that being said, I think that's all I got for y'all today, man. Trey Hend Hendrickson was a fun one. Keep tuning in to these, uh, to these uh, sack school videos they're fun to do follow me on twitter v-o-c-h-l-o-m-b-a-r-d-i that is bosh lombardi and y'all hold it down for the doski woski the peace whiskey till next time volume